Here we go again. Come on. I like to send a special dedication out to all my family and friends. Come on, wow. Let's do it again, bad and show. I said we all must huh. go. How y'all feel today? I hope everything is doing wonderful. I hope y'all been had a nice day because it wasn't it real cold. It was a little chilly, but it was a nice day today. I even got to ride my motorcycle a little bit, so I'm kind of happy with that. Maybe tomorrow it'll be better. I was kind of busy today. But guess what, though? We're doing something new tonight. Yes, indeed. Off the break, I'm letting you know we're doing 240-719-2560. Call in. You got to call in tonight. I know y'all going to call in tonight. Wow. But I got a guest with me that is like my heart right here. Just sitting right here is like my heart. This is my pastor from my church. I got her in here, and she got some good stuff to say to y'all tonight. Now, what we're going to do first is I'm going to ask her because she just opened us up with a little brief prayer, and then we're going to move forward. All right? Most gracious and heavenly Father, we come at this hour to lift up your name, to give your name, honor, and glory. We come thanking you tonight, Lord, for this opportunity. I ask that you would bless uh, Brother Thomas Bartley and his partner here tonight and Sister Sheila that's here with us tonight. Bless us tonight, Lord, as we have this go through this program. We thank you and we praise your name. Amen. Amen. Did I get some amens out there? That's right. <laughs> Now, what we're going to do now is I'm going to ask Dr. Garvin to just kind of like introduce yourself and uh, the church that you're running and, 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 you know, just a little bit about yourself. Sure. First of all, um, Brother Bartley, I'd like to 
um, just again, praise God for you inviting me and giving me this opportunity to come and speak tonight, uh, not to preach or anything, but just to be here um, to, to share some information, if I may. Mm -hmm. And um, I am, uh, as he, he introduced me earlier, Dr. Garvin, that's what he calls me yes. all the time. <laughs> I'm uh, uh, Reverend Dr. Dolores R. Garvin, um, uh, founded a church with my husband, Abraham Garvin, um, in 2011. And we're right here in uh, Temple Hills, Maryland. Um, sometimes the address says uh, Suitland, Maryland, but we're, we're local, amen? amen? And we have service on Sunday morning uh, at 11 o'clock. So please stop by at 6061 Allentown Road. We have our service in uh, Bell's United Methodist Church building in the parlor. And we've been there worshiping the Lord for the last 10 years. And I praise God for that time. Amen. Um, what's next? Okay. Let me peep over on your so, paper. So um, what I want to talk about next is, is this book that you got. You, okay. I'm going to show everybody this book right here. Uh, you're the author of that book. Am I correct? Yes, I am. Um, I uh, had This book was published in 2012. And uh, I was... Um, have always liked to read mm -hmm. and uh, not so much writing, but just reading. Right. And so in reading, I, 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 I got a desire to write a book. So what, what inspired you, though, to, to do well, this? Well, this is what I'm saying. Just, just loving to read, read? picking okay. up something and loving to read. So I was inspired by the, the, you know, the material that I was reading um, from time to time. And uh, I just decided one day. Uh, that I was going to write the book. Now, do you think that this book inspires some people since it's been out? Oh, yes, definitely. Um, I've had people who have actually come to tears after they uh, read the book. I've had people to tell me that the book was too short, that oh. I needed to tell them some more, some more things. But the uh, actual title was uh, inspired by um, the scripture in the book of Acts. Okay. And the story in the beginning of the book, I tell the story about um, uh, Apostle Paul. He was on a ship, in, um, and uh, he was a prisoner, of course, and, and there was a lot of storm and going on, and he had mentioned to the, the, um, the, the, his capturers that he shouldn't, they shouldn't be out there on that water. It was okay. too dangerous. And, uh, but they didn't pay him any attention because he was just a merely uh, a, a prisoner. But anyway, as the story goes on. Oh, can you pause for a minute? Because we got a caller. Okay. Uh, welcome to Let's Do It Again Band and Show Live on TV. Who's calling? What up, Tom O? Hey, hey, who that? It's Trail. What's up, Trail? Hallelujah, man. I knew you was going to call him. You see Dr. Garvin up here. No, man, that's the problem. I can't see him. What? Because I ain't got you on Facebook, man. You got to go to YouTube. That's why, that's why I'm calling, because you know we talked about that the other day, and I still can't find the live link. Okay, so this is what we do. You go to YouTube, right? Yeah. You pull up V-O-X, W-A-V, live. W-A-V, live. Yes. Okay. All right, and then you hit the, it should be a red button. You hit that, man. You, you should see us. Okay, okay, oh, oh, okay. Don't, don't call in like that no more, man. Okay, no, I was putting in W-A-V-E, but I got you now. Okay, all right. So, <laughs> all, right so, so, all right, man, thanks for calling, though. No problem. <laughs> all right. I'm sorry for uh, uh, cutting you off. That's certainly, that's fine. That's fine. Um, you want to finish where you was at or should we move on? It's up to you. Well, I just want to finish that particular okay, part of it just to say that in on at the end um, in the ship, uh, Apostle Paul told um, everybody to get off of the ship. Mm -hmm. And he said, some you pick up boards, wood, whatever you can mm -hmm. to get to shore. And he and that's where I got any type of broken pieces is what he was telling them okay. to get that. So I uh, arrived at that oh, title okay. Okay. and just to tell the world that we can make it on broken pieces. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So okay. is 
because you never actually said the title, the name of the book. Oh, I'm sorry. The title is You Can Make It on Broken Pieces. You Can Make It okay. on Broken Pieces. Okay, so y'all mm -hmm. see how that fit all together? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I wanted to ask you, uh, do you think you'll write another one? Yes, I'm just trying to find the time okay. to, to, to actually write another book. Mm -hmm. But would it be about broken pieces or would it be about something I else? It probably will be a continuation okay. of broken pieces. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that, that'll work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so this is what we're going to do, because you know we, we got short time. We we want to go on a short break real fast, by maybe five minutes. And then what we'll do is we're going to come back and we're going to talk about this this uh, CD that you made. How okay. about that? Is all, that right. all right. That'll work. So we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. And uh, stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. All right. Spiritually father, my earthly father, and my biological father. So he is my father. Right, right. <laughs> and he promised me. He promised me and he promised others that I would be a father for the father. All right, we're back. 
Thanks for joining us on Let's Do It Again Band and Show Live TV. Before the break, uh, we was talking about uh, Dr. Garvin, uh, Broken Pieces, the, a book that she wrote called Broken Pieces. And um, also she, she wrote, she made a song uh, that we're going to get into in a few minutes. But we want to go back to the Broken Pieces and let her tell us a little bit more about it. Okay, thank you. I just wanted to um, let the audience know that um, the, the title of the book is You Can Make It on Broken Pieces. Okay. And the parallel that I was trying to tell with what Apostle Paul said in the 42nd chapter of Acts is that um, he was telling the people on the ship that they can make it on broken pieces. Okay. Okay. And so I want to share that with the world, everyone, to know that we are all we all have brokenness in our life, mm -hmm. and um, of course, from one time to another, but we don't have to let that brokenness keep us down. We can make it on broken pieces. Amen. I believe that. Okay. Y'all yes. believe that? Y'all believe y'all can make it on some broken pieces? Because we all know, just as she just said, that we all got some things that's going on in our life, man, that, you know, that's broken. That's but right. guess what? That don't mean give up. Don't that means that you still can you still can make it. But then, how if they want one of these books, how could they get it? They can uh, uh, email me okay. at DoloresGarvin1 at gmail dot com. That's D E L O R E S Garvin G A R V is in Victory One at gmail dot com. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. I already got my copy. Matter of fact, I think I made about two copies of this when she first came out with it, man. We did something big with the uh, opening. So yes. it's, it's a wonderful Exciting. book, most definitely uh, worth getting, uh, very inspirational, very encouraging. You just uh, look her up, and, and, and let's, you know, she got plenty, so let's, let's order some. Now, what we want to do right now, we want to move on about this song. What's the mm -hmm. name of the song? The song, You Know Me. Is that it? That is. That's it. all? God you knows know me? each and every <laughs> one of us. He knows everything that we're doing, all of our actions, what we're doing now, what we're going to do later, and what we did before. So you know me. So what inspired you to, to uh, do this? Well, um, actually, it's... The Holy Spirit just told okay. me one Sunday to get up and write a, oh, a song. Okay. And I got up and wrote the, and started with the lyrics. And then I brought it in to none other than Brother Thomas Bartley. <laughs> Amen. Y'all know me in music. <laughs> Him and um, Brother, Brother o. o. Yeah. Yes, Brother yeah. O. And uh, they helped me put the music to it. And then uh, Sister Sheila and... And uh, at that time, Sister Marshall came in, and we got mm -hmm. together, and we um, actually made music. You know me. That's the that's the name of the song. Cause you know God me. knows all. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying, in the process of us getting this song together, uh, I can remember back where I felt like she didn't even need no help with it. It was already done. The music was really not that hard to put together because it was the lyrics that was really important. And that when she came in the church with it, it was like, oh man, you got a whole song right ahead now. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not just preaching and teaching us the word, but also writing music too. Then she got a book. It's like she just she just real busy. Mm -hmm. Don't y'all think she real busy? Real busy. Come on, yeah. give us a call at 240-719-2560 if you have any questions about the book or any any prayer requests, because she can do a prayer request right here, live right here to you all. But before we do that, what we want to do is we want to play the song. Can we do that? We want to play this song called He, You, you Know Me. Know Me. Yes, I should you know, know that, me. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
down You know me when I'm up You know me when I'm near And you know me from afar Telling y'all, man, y'all, y'all gotta, y'all gotta get on board with this, man. This, this is something serious, man. The broken pieces and the CD, you may, you making get a deal with. It. I don't know, <laughs> but I'm just saying, you making get a deal with it. Y'all make sure remember how to get in contact with it. Give them the e uh, email again. D Dolores Garvin one at gmail dot com. That is D E L O R E S. G A R V, as in victory, I N, the number one at gmail.com. 
All right, y'all. Come on, let's look up. Let's get let's buy some of these books, man. Let's let's see what it's about, man. I, I actually had some books and I gave them away to some friends to encourage them about some things that was going on. And before we move forward, I just want to give my shout out, man, to uh, Geeking for Success. I'm gonna be bringing them aboard with me, man, starting next month. Next month, I will have a co-host, and uh, y'all gonna be surprised because they already been on the show before. That's how I got on the show. Came one day, and the next two weeks, I was on. Mm. So, you know, God working mysterious ways. Yes, yes. But the song, I mean, I always liked it, the song. Now, I'm going to tell y'all a secret. Now, I was looking for the song and couldn't find it. <laughs> and I, I got kind of nervous. I was like, oh, man, I ain't going to have the song to play. But then I called Dr. Garland. She said, I got it. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> and that was right on time because I was like, if I don't have this song, what am I going to do? Oh, wow. But tell okay. us a little bit. Um about your ministry you know tell us a little bit about your ministry well the focus uh well the the uh name of the ministry is new life praise community and the focus is the whole person um our theme scripture is romans the 12th chapter verses one and two and i'm going i'm paraphrasing but it's about transforming our, our mind and our for a, a life and walking in the way of the Lord. So transformation takes place when we read the word and we walk in his way, um, in the way of the Lord. So um, that is the whole uh, purpose. I believe that we have a heart ministry, meaning that if we come from the heart, um, you know, a lot of of ministries, and I don't want to talk about a lot of ministries, but our goal is to love each other, the, mm -hmm. the word of love, and that comes from the heart. So Amen. our ministry is a heart ministry. Mm -hmm. but, but by me knowing you, you know, you do a lot. You, you're also a, a chaplain, right? Oh, yes, I am. I'm a chaplain for a hospice organization, um, Capital Caring Hospice, um, work uh, five days a week, and uh, it's a blessing to minister to people as they are transitioning to the next life. And um, I have been working with that organization for seven years. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, y'all see how busy she is? <laughs> now, that ain't even it, though. That ain't no, even that, it. That's not it. No, because you also, um, you are, um, oh, man, let me, let me. Um, I think that's it. You, no, 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 that ain't <laughs> it. Because you are, is it vice president? A vice president of the conference, um, the Solid Rock Full Gospel Baptist Church General Conference. I am the second vice president of the conference. Um, Bishop Joel Randolph is the um, the vice the president. I'm sorry, and um, Bishop Paul Reinhardt is the first vice president, and I am the second vice president of the conference. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, also, uh, that's it. <laughs> also, you you do. Um, you do something like the, uh, um, um, what is that you do when you, um, like when, when you was, when you was with, um, 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 oh, wow, I'm kind of stuck here, but I know what I want to ask you, um, when you be having those classes. Oh, wait, a, a Bible school. Right. Yes, there yes. <laughs> From, there we go. Um, New Life Praise Community. We have a, uh, Bible school that was started, um back in 2017 and uh, we've been blessed to have one graduation mm -hmm. and uh, it's and it's all about again it's all about love it's about helping each other and um, loving each other enough to reach out a helping hand um, to help others right, you know right. reach their uh, goals in life right so again that's about um, yeah, that's that yeah, yeah. do we do you do I know sometimes you do the uh, online prayer service or Bible study. Um, we used to do the Bible study online, but we haven't done that recently. But when there's an opportunity for a prayer service, we do that online um, on a special occasions like um, this past Sunday was Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. And uh, really, as a pastor, I wanted the families, because we are a small congregation, I wanted the families uh, in the church to spend time quality time with their families right, so right. instead of you know uh, taking up the, you know having church we had an early morning prayer mm -hmm. and it was led by uh, one of the associate pastors um, on Sunday morning um, uh, pastor associate pastor Carla 
well, pastor in training. Okay. Pastor okay. Carla Jones okay. in training. And uh, so that's that's what it's all but about. You, but yeah. you have you have what two or three that's in training now? Or? Yes, um, two, um, three pastors. I mean, three ministers in training for okay. um, two. All three of them are actually in training for pastor okay. and associate pastor. And and would you like uh, revealing names? Will we? Well, yes, we have um, <clears throat> Minister Earl Simmons, Jr. Um, he is out of. Um, of the Baltimore uh, area, and then we have uh, ministers uh, Carla Jones and uh, Minister Thomas Jones. Um, they are husband and wife team, and eventually they will be, um, you know, uh, pastoring at New Life Praise Community. Amen. As Amen. I move Amen. on up on the, in the ladder. Amen. Of Amen. Amen. Because because <laughs> she needs some help. Believe that. <laughs> yes, she definitely. Be, yes. She she does everything. She just be online. I mean, <laughs> rolling. I, I I know her personally, so I can tell. I can give you a whole lot, but I ain't gonna. We'll run out of time. We'll run out of time. <laughs> Thank but, you so much. But I just know that that her heart is what she's saying. It's it's sincere. I'm saying, I love her, respect her wholeheartedly you know what I mean I'm like I couldn't wait to bring her on the show even though y'all know I don't do a lot of gospel on the show but guess what in my heart saying maybe once a month I'm gonna have I'm gonna have them up here I'm gonna have them on this show to uh because we all need God you know mm -hmm. we get so busy sometimes doing this and that and taking care of home and all that and and we sometimes we forget and then we wonder why life's so hard mm -hmm. we wonder why things ain't working out right because you gotta stay plugged into the source. And the source is the Lord Jesus Christ. You gotta stay plugged in. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it takes the church, church people, mm -hmm. the fellowship, somebody to just kind of mention it, say something to you, give you a encouraging word. And I mean, and we need that because it just sometimes gets so rough out here. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, I'm faithful when it comes to going to church. I'm I'm there because I need it. I know I need it. With all that I be doing. All through the week, man. I'll be waiting for Sunday. So I'll be tired now. I ain't gonna <laughs> I ain't gonna cause my pastor right here, she know. I will be tired, but I'm saying I'll get there because I need to hear that word. I need to feel good. Cause after I leave, I'm good. I'm well, good. I have to agree with you because definitely if if I'm tired, he's at church setting up and making sure that everything is working. I appreciate you so much for that. Oh, the ministry, you. we all appreciate you for God that. God bless you. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's, and it's been a blessing with you working oh. for, with us, working with me for yes, the last yes, how many years? Yes, yes. At least seven. I lost count a long time ago. All I know <laughs> is to be there. Yes, that's right. That's right. So, but we got we got Sister Sheila here in the, uh, in, the in the studio too. Yes, she, uh, she is. She's our keyboard player. She mm -hmm. she writes songs herself. I'm, I'm gonna bring her on here too mm -hmm. when she's ready because I've been try I try to get her tonight, but she no take Dr. Garvin first. Uh. <laughs> but Dr. Garvin got a chance to bring her out with her anyway. Yeah. So yes. so she will be uh, coming on in the the, the three. Uh, new uh, pastors, there's going to be new pastors. They'll be coming on the show. So believe me, I, I don't I don't make schedules like I can't say, well, they're going to be here next Wednesday or they're going to be here the following Wednesday. That'll work its way out. God will work that out when I know to bring them on. And, and, you know, hopefully I can bring them on. We can set up right over here on the stage, man, and we can just, you know, we can go to church. Oh, okay. Because they do have some church ministries mm -hmm. with Vox Wave. Oh. They do have some church ministries that come in here. Oh, okay. And, and he's saying they got a piano in the back, so you ain't wow. even got to bring your equipment. Wow. Okay? But we're going to bring out. We don't know what's going on back there. <laughs> Break somebody's stuff, and then we really go out to have church. Okay. All right. But, yeah, but Dr. Garvin, it's most definitely a pleasure and an honor to have you here tonight on my show. Um, that Do you got some shout-outs you want to you wanna, you wanna do? Yes. I'd like to shout-out, first of all, to my husband. I, I set him up on... Um, on, on my iPad before I left home, so I hope that he's there. Um, Abraham Garvin, uh, to my daughter, Adria, and um, Crystal, and the children, my grandchildren, Kier and Kennedy. Also to the New Life Praise Community Church family. Again, uh, Minister Thomas Jones and Minister Carla Jones, uh, Minister Earl Simmons, and... Um, and also to Sister Sheila, mm -hmm. who did not think it was robbery to come out with me tonight because when he told me it was 9.30, I'm like, 9.30? Ooh, 
<laughs> and, and so, but uh, and and also um, to to the bishop of our our, our organization, Bishop Joe Randolph, and uh, my brother and Tommy Randolph, Sister Betty Rand, uh, Betty Scott Clements, mm -hmm. and to my dear friend and friends, uh, Pastor uh, Lethia Pender and her husband Deacon Pender, and then there is uh, Pastor Eloise Marshall and the um, Shell Marshall and Sean Rice, amen. Amen. And I uh, shout out to all of them and to my dear friend, um, Reverend Annie Smith. Amen. All right. Amen. Yeah. You know, I was just sitting here thinking while you was doing the names. Um, you also doing the, um, <laughs> the, uh, uh, um, the counseling for uh, oh, couples yeah. that's getting married, right? Oh, yes, yes, yeah. Marid, uh, marriage counseling, right. and I do weddings. And I also was the coordinator for the wedding of Brother Thomas Bartley and his lovely wife, Amen. Sharon Amen. Bartley, um, about 15 years ago, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Uh, who knew God where man. God was going to bring us? Never know, right? Yeah. But uh, God is great. God is good. He's awesome. I just heard a song coming in. Um, my God is awesome God. My and God we awesome, can man. always, you know, we know that, that he is awesome. So I'm just very proud of you, Brother Thomas, well, thank for you. bringing thank this you. program together. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can touch a lot of people. <laughs> And I would certainly like to be here with you, touching people and reaching out and sharing with others. Well, so thank well, you so much for this opportunity. Well, I really appreciate that. And, and, and the doors are most definitely open for you. Thank at you. At any time, if you got something on your mind or something that you think you need to share with the, with the followers, the world, everybody to be online, mm -hmm. you let me know. You know it's only on Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, I can bring you back in here and I can give you a whole set. Mm, it, it, gotcha. I mean, you know what okay. I mean? You do what you got to do. All right. um, because I'm, 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 I'm using this platform to just reach out to people Absolutely. that don't know us. That's right. That That's don't right. see us. Uh -huh. That don't know we active in what we are doing. Mm -hmm. If, it's, if it's, it's from catering to making events from church through prayer you know it's it's just the whole stage is open for whatever god mm -hmm. released for me to do and and i concentrate on that every week to try to make this show be worth watching exactly worth yeah. watching because well, we don't want no mess we don't want no mess on this station right here i don't got nothing to do with nobody else station but when it comes down to Wednesday here, it's going to be about progress, about empowerment. Mm -hmm. It's going to be about developing someone, yes, you know, yes. helping. I just don't know why we can't get no calls in. People scared to call. <laughs> is that what it yeah, is? Yeah, and then when Your I'm friend, out on the street well, don't. <laughs> <laughs> and see them, they be like, man, I'm telling you, man. Uh -huh. And I'm like, just call in. Just call in, okay. But look. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to wrap this up with Dr. Garvin, okay. but before we go, we're gonna we're gonna ask her to pray again. Uh, we want her to pray over this building. We want her to pray for the 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 guy that's in charge of this building. That you know God opened his heart to make this platform for who and whoever may come upon his uh, uh, voxwave.com. Um, we want you to pray for our families. We want you to pray for our friends. Um, we want you to pray for the homeless people. You know, we want to pray for people that, that just need God in their life tonight. Can we do that? Yes, we can, Brother Thomas, but you've just prayed. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> Praise God, he just prayed. We're just going to yeah. ask God to yeah. anoint the prayer, amen, that he just prayed because he really did. He touched, the, oh, touched each and every... She do this to me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> he touched each and every aspect of our life and also for people that come and go in our life. So thank God for you and your prayers. Amen. 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 God is good and he's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. But ha Heavenly Father, we will not leave. I will not leave this place tonight without saying thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for the vessel that you use to give me this opportunity and also to reach out to others. So we thank you, Lord. Uh, if I had 10,000 tongues, I couldn't thank you enough. So bless each and every one of us. Again, as he said, bless the homeless. Bless the ones that are 
or, or have some brokenness in their heart and in their life right now and don't know which way to turn. God, I'm here to tell them that they can make it on broken pieces just to take you with them each and every day and everywhere that they go. We thank you, Lord, for um, the, the organizer, whoever, the, the owner of this place. I ask that you would anoint it, Lord, that so that people, when they come in, they will spread the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ. We praise you and we give you honor in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. 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 And we're going to go to a quick break and we'll be right back. Amen. We're going to do this before y'all make a little something we put together. Huh? It's called Ura. Don't play with you. Dr. Garvin, man, she's a blessing to my heart, man, every day that I know her, man. But look, we can ready to move on, man, because guess what? Who we got here? What's your name? Fahim. Fahim. What you do, Fahim? I'm a promoter. Um, I promote at uh, one venue in particular, uh, Tacoma Station. Okay. Uh, located Northwest, uh, 6914 4th Street, Northwest. Okay. Um, I mainly promote... 
uh, I, I promote different things depending on right the the type the the time of the year and um, you know what I'm trying to try different from what I've already done. Um, okay. You know I've done everything from poetry shows, comedy shows, mm -hmm. a mixture of variety. Uh, uh, so so what what how long you been doing it though? How long you been? Into I've been I've been doing it. Uh, since 2006 okay. at Tacoma Station. Okay, okay. Name some of the bands that you done promoted there. Um, let's see, The Aftermath, uh, Black English Band, um, who else? Uh, uh, Lit Band, that's that's okay. the band I'm currently working with now. Okay. Um, Pump Blenders came through and blessed, mm -hmm. the, blessed the stage. Mm -hmm. Then you guys will be coming up. Mm -hmm. Um, Tomorrow we have Raw Potential Band. Okay. Um, it's, it's a lot. I can, yeah, yeah, lot yeah. To name I just right I now. just wanted you to run a few, you yeah. know, because because the, the thing is this right here, man. We got we got so many good promoters out there, man. But at sometimes, you know, they don't get some of the bands that's coming up. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? They yeah, they concentrating yeah. on the the ones that's been doing it for us and making yeah. it happen for us, man. You, and kind of leave us behind, man. Yeah, you know I'm an underdog, so you right, know, that's right. What I'm trying to come up, so it's a lot of good music out here mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. um that um I'm grateful to be able to provide a platform. For right, it. right. Now yeah. let me ask you this: is is uh um uh hang on, is the station um the only place that you promote bands? Well, in the past, I've done um, one other venue, My Way Cafe. I've done comedy and poetry out there, but primarily uh, Tacoma Station. Mm -hmm. um, the reason for that is, you know, I'm a low-budget guy. Okay. So, okay. you know, I'm, I'm trying to make it work for me. Right, so right, right, that's, right. That's, you know, that's, that's where I'm going to grow at. If I can't grow there, then it doesn't make sense to really right, right. Um, well, go well, anywhere. Well, one thing I can say from what you already done, shared with us that it, it, it's working okay. it, it's working it, it haven't got to the multiple where you really wanted to be right. but it's working and it's and it's a blessing just to have you working it you know what i'm saying because right. like you're saying you're the underdog so guess what you're gonna grab the ones that's thirsty you right. grab the ones that say man i'm trying to get noticed man i'm trying to play man right. and they ain't gonna be looking for a whole lot right. you know what I mean? because just like you growing we growing too so right. we can't expect to get the bag off the break. Right. You know what I'm saying? We got right. to get the crumbs, man, until it's, we can build it yeah, up. Yeah, it's, it's the demand. You know, the, yeah. the people demand, you know, when you have a band like maybe a Backyard mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. Red Essence or, mm -hmm. you know, any of those bands. Just the name alone. Right, you know, right. Regardless of who the promoter is. Right, right, yeah. They're they going to get their money and, back. And see, and see the, the thing break. is, it's because, see, they done already put their work in. They put their work in. They done put their work so in. So whether they have know? a slumming night yeah. or a good night, yeah. they always have that's a good right. night. That's right. That's right. Because they, they done did that groundwork, man. And that's, yeah. and that's where we at, man. Let's do it again, bang the show. Man, we've been we've been doing shows. We don't play a whole lot. Right. But we've been we've been putting our work in, man. I, it's, I think it's our time this year, you know, to, to get more busy. Uh, we, we I just finished up a... Uh, a remix mm -hmm. of UIA, we call it Let's Celebrate. Okay. And what we're doing on this song, man, we're celebrating all the the DMV artists that's, you know, from Trouble Phone to Backyard to uh, Scooby and Lil' Kim, mm -hmm. uh, the ones that passed away, Foots, Heavy right. One. We just celebrating this right. us, man, because right. we created this stuff, man. Right. And that song, man, I think it's, it's going to do something. And I think that's and, and and I'm grateful to be able to work with you guys because I, I seen the, the YouTube clips. Like, right. Okay. And then plus Donnell, right? You know, he's a mm -hmm. solid musician. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know, shout out to Donnell, man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, man, it's like um, we just we just looking, man, for an opportunity to get with some people that that's gonna take us serious. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because music is serious with us. We not we just not. A go go band. We just right. not we we playing all kinds of music. We and this venue, this venue is um, of course you know it's a historic venue. Mm -hmm. a, a lot of bands um, started started out there and mm -hmm. became big names there. Like, right. You know, uh, I'm not gonna name. Right. Of I that, understand you what you're saying because but, I mean, like I done been up there and watch a few bands up there and uh, and talk to the owner one time. I, mm -hmm. I can't remember his name, 
But I talked to him and I gave him a card and everything and told him to go online, check us out and everything. And then I never heard anything. Right. But then Donnell, when he came with the group, he was like, man, look, I can get y'all my man up there, man. He be, you know, I can get you, Tom. And I'm like, man, you know, I hear that all the time. Right. You know, just get my number, get him to call me, let me call him. Right. And let's try to make it happen. Right. Because it's about making it happen, man. Right. It, exactly. it ain't about that conversation. Exactly. That conversation ain't going to do nothing but keep going on and on. conversation was short. Was <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, we going to do it over yeah, here. Yeah, we so, going to do it over here. Yeah. But, um, you know, um, uh, tell, tell the only thing, only thing is just to play good music, right. which I know you guys are oh, going to yeah. do. Oh, yeah, so definitely. once, once the people hit a good music, it's yeah. a rap. Yeah. So, That's it. so tell us about that night. Who you got all going on that night? Well, that night I have uh, you guys, and then I have the Pump Blenders. Okay. Um, celebrating Gerald and uh, Will's birthday. Oh, okay. So it's Gerald, I ain't know that. Yeah. I'm gonna have to do something special for that. Yeah, one. yeah. Drop the bomb or something. Yeah. <laughs> So um, give, give them the address for the everybody address know where it's at. It's 6914 4th Street, Northwest, Washington, D.C. It's walking distance from um, Tacoma Station, Metro Station. It's literally a block mm -hmm, away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so you guys feel free. So how's parking up there? Because last time parking, I was up there, it's kind of. Parking is, you know, you get there early, it's free before 8. Okay. Parking is, you know, you got to get in where you fit in. Right. There's no okay. parking lots. Okay. Um, you can park across the street. They got a dispensary and a liquor store. Okay. So um, the dispensary, once they close, 7, 8 o'clock, they close anyway. So okay. you can park on that lot. But um, on they the doing street food? Parking, they, they sell food They got here? food, good food. Okay. Um, honey jerk wings are, mm -hmm. are pretty good. All they right. got the, the Strong Island iced teas. They're famous oh, okay. actually for that. Long Island oh, iced okay. tea. So uh, Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? One, Get there. My man Cohen said best. I let him say, it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, uh, you know. Yeah, but I'm I'm, I'm most Island. definitely, man, uh, super excited, man, about um, coming up there, man, to play for you all, man. Um, I got a lot of people that I already in contact because I got it on my Facebook page. Right. Also been putting it on Instagram. And um, we most definitely, man, we looking forward to uh Getting up there, man, just showing our talent, man. You know, okay. showing people what we got, man, what we've been working so hard for. You know, um, it's like Pump Blenders, we, we done played at a couple of venues that they mm -hmm. had, you know what I mean? Like, love them to death, man. They right. It's like, for somehow, we always end up where they at. We always, for you some reason, You guys, I man, think, is a, is a great fit, yeah. you know what I'm saying, for a great night of uh, grown and sexy, mature music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um Real season musicians, right, right, like, right, right. Really take time and practice and yeah, yeah, man. Play that like, every week, man. We every week, man. We in the studio, man. Every week, like yeah, we'll so. be rehearsing tomorrow for that show particular. You know okay. what I mean? And now that I know that we doing the uh, birthday celebration for my man, man. I'm gonna have to go in there and switch something up, man. Do something real big for him, okay. man. If we can have something to follow. <laughs> okay. That's hey, look. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. You know that's, what I'm saying? Cause, hey, cause, look, that's because I know they the gonna because I know they gonna bring it, man. Because they celebrating. You hey, know look, what I mean? That's the, and that's what makes a great show when when um when the bands bring it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They be like, okay, we gonna go first. Yeah. We gonna make sure right. they got oh, something yeah. to come they, behind. They, they, they gonna, gonna have, have to. to. Yeah. 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 So that's what's and up. What, that's what's the time on that again? Uh, seven, seven to midnight. Seven, okay. to, you All know. Right. Okay. You okay. know, we we got to midnight. But, yeah. You yeah, know. Yeah. Yeah. But we on first, y'all. We yeah. on first, so y'all need to get there early, man. If y'all want to catch early. us, you know what I mean. I'm not saying get there and leave after us because Pumpling is gonna give you something yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm just saying, man, get there early for you can get your good parking space. You can get you a seat. You can sit down, man. Gave some wings. Get you a nice uh, yeah. drink, man. And then I'm Mix telling and you. The we gonna network. party, man. We gonna party. I'm letting you know, man. Let's do it again, man. That's all we do when we go out anyway. Yeah. We don't be playing about that there, man, because uh, all of us like go-go. All of us like grown and sexy. All of us yeah. like the old school. Yeah. Because, you know, that's what we do. We take that old school and put that flip on that thing, man, and then we be in that thing, man. I'm, I'm ready to sing it, now. Yes. Oh. Man, look, I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah, but but besides that, man. Um, besides besides you, uh, what's up, Durf? Besides Jill. you, um, doing the uh a promotion, man. What uh, else you do, man? What else? Well, you I'm do? an electrician. I got my own uh company. Okay, um, see, okay. Uh, Prestige Electric. 
Okay, um, okay. You probably seen my truck. I'm actually driving it now. Okay, sign, okay. Well, you got a website or uh, uh, something they can get in case they need well, some work? No, they can they can reach me through my Hog Ryan Entertainment page or, you know, if they need anything other than electrical, they can go to um, constructingtheworld.com. Okay, okay. Y'all hear that? Constructingtheworld.com. Okay, so, yeah, man, because... Um, get some prestige man, cause, services. Because, you know, the weather we've been having, man, everything been going out. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah, man. So people be needing electricity, man. Yeah, I'm, all I'm, that. I'm grateful to have that skill, man. Yeah, cause, man. Um, you know, it's, it's a lot going on, and, you know, jobs hard to come by, and I'm grateful for, for my pops teaching me. Right, right. Teaching me that skill. Right, teaching me man. how to yeah. fish so I can eat for life. So, man, you know, yeah. no matter what, you know. Yeah, I talked about that, man, on on a show a couple of weeks back, man, about, you know, I went through that. My uncle and them taking me under their wing, showing me how to do yeah. commentary and all that yeah. but um it's like um we got a uh anniversary coming up okay uh if i'm not mistaken it's september the 23rd okay i may need you man to, to promote it man i may need you okay. we can throw a party man because i did one last year down at um infuse okay yeah it was nice though it, it was nice but i did it myself i promoted it myself and everything okay but i'm saying man you're gonna talk again and uh we're going to see if I can get you, man, to, to kind of push this thing, man. We may grab another band or two, okay. you know what I mean, and make a, right. a nice event out of it, man. You know I what ain't I mean? It'll work. It's going to be, um, I want to say it's going to be three years. I think this is the second year we've been together. I okay. think it's going to be, so I, well, I guess we'll be celebrating the, the second so year. So y'all play up OTI, right? Well, we played up OTI. We, we, we don't have nowhere permanent. Okay. You know what I mean? Like we done been down. Um, what's that club on Benton Road? Uh, the Chateau. Chateau. Yeah. And we used to be in there pretty often. Okay. You know what I mean? But we ain't been down there in a while. Cause I, I don't want to. Me personally, I don't want us to be at one place all the time. I want right. us to go around first, right. and then find a home. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. A home that's going going to treat us well, and we can treat them well. You okay. know. And and right now we really into writing these songs we got. Okay. We really into that, man. Cause we we need to get something on the radio, man. Yeah, that, we, that's original. Yeah. That's that's the only thing that yeah. that I think that's really gonna yeah. take yeah. Go Go to yeah. another level yeah. is the original music in a song format mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that um that has lyrics that are timeless. And we got them, man. We got them, like man. But that's timeless. Yeah, you know yeah. That'll last forever. <laughs> that'll last forever, yeah, man. Yeah, you, know you know what, what I'm saying. Mean? But we running out of time, y'all. And man, I just like to just thank y'all for tuning in once again, man, on these Wednesday nights, man. Showing your love, man, and knowing that, man, we always gonna be here. Like I say, man, starting next month, I'm gonna have a, a, a new co-host. I want to send a shout out to my main man, uh, Geeking for Success. You know, we can team up with them. Let's do it again, man. All you gotta do go on Instagram. You'll be seeing it. You'll be seeing they they already posting things about us and them. Uh, we can do some stuff, man, uh, uh, with, um, uh, what, what was this, is this big thing coming up? It's a big thing coming up. Just stay on uh, uh, Instagram or, or Facebook, and you, you will see what I'm talking about. Now, what I, what I want to say before we get out of here is that I need to sell these calendars. Okay, now this is the catch with the calendars. We got some new ones going to come out, which Let's Do It Again band going to be on them. But if you buy one of these calendars, we're going to give you a free ticket to the upcoming event with uh, Love and Hip Hop. We got something going on with uh, some people that's in, uh, affiliated with Love and Hip Hop, and we're going to throw a big show with them when she come down here. But in order to get a free ticket, you got to buy one of these calendars. And if you do that, man, we're going to make sure you get it. We're going to make sure. So... All you got to do, hit me up on let's do it again band at gmail.com and I'll get these out to you. I do, uh, what you call that thing? Uh, not PayPal. What's the new cash one? App. Cash app. Yeah, cash app. Cash, cash app in that app. paper. And I'll get this to you. But I need a list so I can get them all at one time and then I'll give you a meeting place where you can meet me at and we'll get that for you. Was that call for me? Don't be calling hanging up on my station, man. I'll. I'll be, I'll be looking for you. That call is for you. Hey, welcome to Let's Do It Again Band and Show Live TV. I'm getting good at this. 
What's up, so, Rick? Rick? So, so you been you been you been doing pretty good on your show. I see there. Well, man, I mean, you know, it's all God blessing, man. It ain't, it ain't nothing I'm doing. I see. I gotta hide my show from you now. No, nah, you ain't gotta do that, man. We together. We're family, man. Come on, man. Well, well, you just well, gotta stop well, ducking put me, me in, though. Put me in for for one of them calendars, brother. Man, God bless you, man. I'm most definitely gonna put you down for Rick. They only ten dollars, Rick. You might as well get two. Man, you always trying to sell me some bootleg. <laughs> Look, man. you, you on live, on. man. Don't don't burn yourself, man. You <laughs> on live, man. You might as well get two. Twenty bucks, man. Come on. Man, you might as well go ahead and put me down for it, man. I'm good for it. My, oh, I know you is, man. I got you, man. Two so y'all see that? Come on, y'all. I got two minutes. Call in. Put yourself down, man, Holla. for these calendars. All right, Rick. See you soon, man. What's, what's the number for them to call in? Uh, the number to call in is 240-719-2560. That's 240-719-2560. Call in, man, about about getting one of these calendars or getting two of these calendars because I need a list for when I go to pick them up, it would be already prepaid for. And you can get yours. And like I say, you get a free ticket for the next event. Look, we got to go. Go ahead and give your shout-outs, man. Over station tomorrow night, Open White Poetry. Uh, Raw Potential Band, Tacoma Station tomorrow. Man, God, man, appreciate you coming out here, man. God is good all the time. I'll see y'all next week, man. Same station, same time. Peace. I'm out of here. Oh, my goodness. Here we go again. Come on. I'd like to send a special dedication out to all my family and friends. Come on. Wow. Let's do it again, band and show. I said we all must huh. go.